Hey everybody, so today I'm going to try something. Um, I know I mentioned the tea box um, for a journal, but I just came across a, an empty box of tissues. Just it is the season for tissues. And I thought, I think I can make a few tags out of this. It's not the best, but with a couple of layers and stuff, I think we can make some really pretty tags. So, I'm going to cut this apart um, along, well, the, that part here, here, um, and we'll use the main big pieces for tags. I would like to do something with this, just because it's a nice cutout window at some point, but I'll save that for later and maybe figure something out, maybe for might make a good uh, cover for a journal. Just, it's got that nice cutout and I'd replace the plastic. So let's see what we can do with this, an empty box of Kleenex. Uh, I'll be right back because I haven't learned how to fast forward yet on these things. So we will do this in steps. Back soon. Hey everybody, so today, I'm gonna try something. Um, I know I mentioned the tea box um, for a journal, but I just came across a, an empty box of tissues. Just it is the season for tissues. And I thought, I think I can make a few tags out of this. It's not the best, but with a couple of layers and stuff, I think we can make some really pretty tags. So, I'm going to cut this apart um, along, well, the, that part here, here, um, and we'll use the main big pieces for tags. I would like to do something with this, just because it's a nice cutout window at some point, but I'll save that for later and maybe figure something out, maybe for might make a good uh, cover for a journal. Just, it's got that nice cutout and I'd replace the plastic. So let's see what we can do with this, an empty box of Kleenex. Uh, I'll be right back because I haven't learned how to fast forward yet on these things. So we will do this in steps. Back soon. Okay, back here and I've cut up the box. I'll probably cut that in half still yet and make that into smaller tags. Uh, I think this one I'm going to make into like a band instead. So maybe I'll cut that in half. Um, and this is six by four and I didn't, I thought it was too big to have it as that. But here, just give me one second. I'll give these two a quick cut. Do, 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 do. Don't want them too big. Sorry about that, people. Um, so anyway, so we've got a few pieces to work with here. Um, and I went through and I found this really interesting little piece of uh, corrugated cardboard that was had something attached to it. I thought that was kind of cool. I've got a whole bunch of different ephemera sitting here that we can play with. I've got different papers that we can play with. And let's see what we can make with all this. Um, so first off, the biggest thing is getting the base and this ready. And I think this is a little big. So I'm going to uh, a piece, rip off a piece of it. Sorry, right, out of frame. Maybe stick that there. And I can use two of these, maybe smaller ones. There. Okay, so we've got a few pieces here. Um, next thing I would like to do is get some background paper. I'm going 
to, the goal is to try to rip a few things and get that nice textured edges going. So the corner will be some paper there. Another piece here could work. There. And maybe there. Okay, so far I'm liking that. And I'm keeping the same tones. Uh, let me look. Let's see what else we have here. That we can put on. Because we are going to be doing stuff on top as well. So I just want to keep that in mind. Um, going through some of these Tim Holtz pieces I have. And it was for a kit, but um, it's not something that I will probably ever make. So I can actually cut those pieces off and use them in a different way. Interesting there. And these are made to look like railway tickets. So also cut these off, rip these up, and put that there. off. Put that there. Main thing we're trying to do right now is just cover up the bottom of so that we don't really have much sticking through. And we're going to be doing a bit of painting and other stuff to this too. So it doesn't have to be perfect um, in any shape or form. Uh, let's see what else. I kind of want to keep that bird. I like that bird. I like those birds too. There's another. Because we are covering a lot of this up. I don't want to put anything that's too nice under there either. Another piece of paper I've got that's similar. Put there. And there. And how about here? Okay, so I'm going to glue all this down and let it dry. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, I've got this one ready. This one's ready. They all have to dry, of course. And this one's ready. But while doing it, I thought, well, maybe I should just have you guys see the process of what I'm doing here, at least for one of them. So I'm just basically gluing down the pieces. Like so. And then I think I'll add it. And I also um, went around and I edged all of them with Distress Ink. Just, you know, um, might not be seen in the end, but just in case, if I want it seen, it's already done. And I'm just using Mod Podge as a glue, so. But another thing I discovered while I was doing this, um, this cardboard is, as it is, is pretty thick. I don't know if you can see that there. So I, the other ones, I'll end up taking it apart a bit and then ripping some of the different layers off, even in pieces. I'll 
It's a little fiddly. And there's, I just use my tweezers and I go in and I just rip it up some more. There we go. See, that looks kind of interesting. And I think I'm going to put that across here. But because I do have some stuff going through a little bit, what I will do is I'll take a little bit of tissue paper and I'll put it over some spots, stick it down, and that kind of mutes everything. Uh, or you can take, like I did on some of the other ones, you can take a piece of gold tissue paper, put it down, go it down, like collage, and then maybe put some of this on top to help mute it. See, it's a pretty bright gold. But if it shows through a little bit in the back, hey, it's sticking to my, shows through in the back, not a big deal because as i said we'll be adding different layers and stuff as we go along now i'll add this little guy and i'll use you know it's not much different from mod podge but i'm gonna use some tacky glue on this guy i'm on glue i'm on i know you're in there i swear it is usually i store these upside down but i was using it Okay, a good amount of tacky glue there, Wendy. And I am just going to stick you right along there, I think. I kind of like it going that way. So give it a good press. Let it stick. Press in between the creases. Just to, I'm trying to keep the creases. That's part of it. So I'm trying to press it down in spots. where it will attach. And now I will leave this to dry and then we will work on the next step as I don't want to play with these too much and we'll work on something to put on top of these and what else we're going to do. So I'll be back in a few. See you soon guys. Okay now they're pretty much dry. Um, I think we can work on them a little bit because uh, we still have a few more steps to do. Um, now, with the base, it's done. And yes, I did hear you guys who were telling me you forgot the strips. So they're done. They're all ready for the next step. So the next step is a combination of a couple of things. I'm going to use some gesso and also going to use a little bit of paste. This is a homemade paste that I found off of YouTube. And it works really, really well. If I can find the video, I will link it. And this is just a very, you know, it's a very, very cheap stencil. So we're going to do a little bit of texture, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. So let's go here. We'll put a little bit of gesso just in some spots where you, you kind of want to highlight things a little bit, maybe. I'll put a line across there. Maybe down here. You go with your hands and just spread it around because this is just going to make other things pop at the end and that's kind of what we do and that will be covered up those little holes or I will incorporate them in somehow so let's use a little bit of gesso here and there Just to highlight some things. You can use your brush, you can use your finger, use both. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit on this. I like the way this turned out. It almost looks a little bit like wallpaper is peeking through. Some old wallpaper paper is chipped and that's kind of peeking through a little bit. That's what I'm feeling from this. But here. And I will be aging the edges too, so that will be happening at the near the end. I'm gonna use a brush in this part. 
I laid around there a little bit. Same here. there and I've got a little bit along here it fell over let's just to add a little bit of punch or detail in the end it, you'll you see it more in the end what happens and I do watch uh, 49 Dragonflies. She is gives a lot of little tips on, on, on stuff like this. And she just recently did something similar to this. So that did inspire me. And I will link hers below as well. Uh, I like this gold, actually. I thought it might be a bit too brash and too bright. But I think once everything's done, it's going to be... Kind of cool. I actually don't mind the, the, the Kleenex box showing through a little bit because it was actually a cherry pattern or something of that sort. So that's that. That part is done. A little bit inside there. I'll cover that up later. <sighs> Come on, Jesso. Time to close. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this paste and my move you over a little bit. So I have a little bit of space to work. I'm going to take this pattern somehow and put it across here. a whole lot of paste and just you don't even have to do the whole area you can just do some of it just to add some texture like so just might actually put a little bit more in this spot there I'm liking that Put some down here it's just a matter of just kind of pushing it across and then pulling it off and then you'll find your textures there. And we'll try some lines of some kind of this for here. here I think and I have long hair so of course it ends up in everything I do there we go and we're getting some texture and some spots I think we know where I'm going to be putting texture on this one Texture. Put it in the same spot. Just you don't want to scrape too hard, but you want to have a little bit there. I mean, we don't want this to be high texture, so and it doesn't matter if it's a little squishy at the end. It's all going to work. So now we're gonna let those dry again. I shall be back. Okay, guys. So I did something off. Um, camera just because uh, the techniques that uh, she was using in the inspirational video I don't have access to she had uh, like the distressed ink and daubers or and you know and I tried 
putting the distress ink on here and adding some water and dripping it on it wasn't working so then i i got out my chalk pastels and i rubbed some in and then i watered down some paint and added that and although it's not perfect i am happy with the result i'll end up putting just a bit of of um, gauze we have a very very old um, first aid kit so i'm using up the gauze in that and i just make it look a little aged by rubbing my round chalk against it <laughs> instant work but another little hack i do is this little script thing um it's actually i've taken brown tissue paper like from uh, patterns i took my script stamp Plus, I use the Stazon stamp, jet black, um, and because it will not run if you put something on top of it. That's the most important thing about it, these inks is that I can, de you know, put decoupage on top and it's going to stay. It's not going to run. So what I do is I just stamp it out on, I get a whole bunch and I just start making stamps and you know i let it fade i have ones that are more faded i have ones that are half faded and all kinds of things so you just play with it and you can make a whole bunch of these and you can put them on top of anything and the great thing about those too is that even if it's rough it's going to come through you don't have to worry about it just stamping like i could put it over this cardboard and i just might do that and uh, it will stay but i am happy with this card so let's work on a card together and then uh, I will finish up the other ones off camera and show you all the results. So let's work on this big one. I'm trying to think of a theme for him. Kind of liking this Tim Holtz picture. The stick on there and maybe their buddy is traveling around. As you can see, they do have um, walk, like walking sticks and maybe they're old guys and whatever. But it look, it, they could be a traveling thing. So... I'm going to find ooh, where'd they go? Just give me a second. Playing with everything, I get my spice. I'm gonna just age the corners a bit because I love to age. And I'm just gonna I haven't finished the underneath yet. But I'm just gonna age the corners while I have it in my hands. Um so this i put a, a very light light brown paint kind of acrylic paints wash it down and rubbed it but i really would like it a bit darker so uh, i think what i'm going to do is maybe do a little bit more of the brown wash but the thing about this brown wash thing is you you gotta have a towel ready that's the plot that was way too dark you got to have a, a towel ready to wipe because it's going to absorb really, really fast into your into your thing. And I just kind of want to get things in the nooks and crannies more than anything else. Looking around in here, just to make these pop a bit more. I think I'm doing this all on camera. Might be the first time I didn't, but grab an old towel see most of it wipes off so my second thing to try I did with the first one and it kind of works is I just get out my chalk I think it needs a good a, a little scrape and we'll give it a little scrape just to get it going because sometimes it gets a little hard on the side so I just scrape it with my knife a bit. I'm going to pick up the chalk and can start kind of rubbing it in and pick up some of those that stuff we put on there. I'm going to use a little bit of black. Mix the brown and black. Just going to pick up some of this stuff going around the sides. I like things looking a little grungy and old. I like how the gold is actually standing out a little bit there, here and there. I think that's kind of neat. I'll just take this out of the package, shouldn't I? It'd be a lot easier, Wendy. 
I have a very small spot. So quite often everything is kind of piled on top so that I have access to it by hand and can actually do something. So it's slowly starting to pop things out a bit better. Would have been nice if it was more opposite and it was a little darker in the background, but one thing I worry about that is just doing it a little try again. If not, we like to try. Put the towel, wipe the top a bit. That's not bad. I mean, it is popping a little, and we're going to be doing a lot to the top. So, but I want to finish this. I want to make this a little bit more grungy. Maybe up near the top, we could add some script, a little bit of script to this on there. Just and then we'll put the picture there. And then I kind of want something else. If that's going to work or if that will work, I'd have to distress it before it could work, that's for sure. Um, just trying to get different shapes in here because I thought there was a train ticket. That could work there but I need something a little brighter I think just something to pop um that's still a little muted there's a bright ticket it's getting there I think I really want this to pop. I don't know if I want that on there. This I think is too bright. I think there's that there. And there's another ticket. Gasoline and oil. That could work. Let me put that down here. Sorry, people, I hope this is all in frame. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little off frame. I really apologize if I'm not. It's not like we can just redo these, right? There's another. It's, uh... Just kind of thinking that's kind of a trial. And, you know, let's dude thing. Get together and do something. We already got the Southern Railway. I don't know if the air mail would work or not. Because it's, hmm. Let's see what else do we have here. Of course, we have some gods. I don't know. Um, Bill. We've got a map here. What if we tear off a piece of the map and use it? They're traveling. That could work. Just... Just make that look like it's been in there, around their pockets. Maybe we'll fold it a little bit and put creases in it. Like a real map. Fold it and put it in somebody's pocket. I know it's too tiny to read. I get that, but it's all about adding character to things, right? It's a little map. That'll work there, and maybe gasoline, and will that still work? train to get oh, maybe we should put the train to get there. There and maybe the gasoline and oil up there. So 
still feel like it needs a little something a little brighter, Wendy. Not so. I don't think they're Captain America. Um, uh, we also have some lettering. That's, sorry, guys. I'm just looking through some things. Just to try and see if I can find something a little on the brighter side. It's too bright. <laughs> I know you guys don't see what I'm looking at. Um... That's another railroad one. Joyce. Okay. I think we need something brighter. Oh, where is my circle stamp? I know I had one of these somewhere around. Would this make sense? I mean, something like this, though. Do you know? Not liking it. Okay. You know what? I kind of like those numbers, though. See, it says not good if detached, so we better not detach it. Maybe put the map up there and the gasoline and oil down here. Would they have written home to their ladies? Probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe put a number on top. Something, Wendy. It needs a little something. Yeah, that's just, there's a highway thing, but it doesn't have a number in it. I'll put a letter on it, but I don't know if that would work. So this is always the fun part is figuring things out. Oh, here we go. Here's a circle thing. And then I can always stamp that with something after. I think that's going to work. All right. So let's glue it down. For this, I'm going to use the three-in-one because it actually does. It tacks a lot faster. So we'll put this down. covering most of that pattern stuff we put on. Oh, well. And then we want this train check there. It has not been aged, so we will age it a bit. These guys. Uh, I think I'm only going to use half of it because I can probably use the other half somewhere else. These guys down. Train check is not straight. Make sure this is all glued down. I don't want it coming off. Although I do like the rough edges and looking like it's been around a while. Now, where do I want this again? I think I'm going to put it here. Oh, I forgot to age it. Sugar and spice! Boop! For life. No one say crafty. It has to be neat and tidy. I do get quite messy in the process. It just happens. I can't help it. I think I'm going to find something. like a, I'm going to stamp the top of this with something, but I'm just not sure what yet. Oh, 
maybe a my looks almost looks like a speed limit sign so maybe we'll put that on okay so i think that's good for that card uh so far and then i think around the edges i'm going to use some um where did i put my ah, chalk i'm gonna take the chalk the brown one and i'm just gonna go around the edges with my chalk make it look a bit more worn and aged like it I didn't just make it like it's been around a while and then take my black jock just highlight the edges a bit more that card now that's a very grungy card for what will probably be a grungy type journal but i do like the way it turned out and i hope you guys do too i will do the rest offline and i'll come back with you i've got oh, see this one is a grungy butterfly i but i think it works really well i'll do some more so going from this brightness to this this level is you know you don't have to go this dark you can, you can go lighter and I'll do a couple that are lighter and I'll show you in them and what I've done. Okay. I'll be back guys and I'll show you all the finished ones. All right. Okay guys, here are the finished ones. Um, this one, I actually did the back cause I put a hole in it, but the rest I will be putting a blank card in the back <laughs> and my fingerprints. Um, so basically what I did, you know, I left this one as is cause I like it kind of, you know, patty like that I, still have, I gotta cover it in mod podge still so that the chalk stays put and doesn't come off on your fingers um then you, this one was the first one with the butterfly and then i made another one with a butterfly and just added a few little things you know like some thread and some scrap paper and you know a little quote and a piece of a tag from another podrick project and then this one is just a fussy cut bird that I got and you know I just put some uh like the the tissue that's from patterns I just put some of that over it just to tone it down a little bit and then I drew around a few things with the black marker just to bring them out a bit more added a little tag for it and then the, the two belly band pieces, I really didn't do much to them because I did add some like um, the pattern paper just to tone it down a little bit, but I didn't really do much other than kind of toning it down from what it originally was for two reasons. I'm not sure what projects I'm gonna be putting these in and what the theme is going to be um, and until they are actually attached and I do like this i kind of think that's kind of neat the way it's all put together and um i'm liking the way it looks so i think it, they could go as is if i wanted um but they add a little something so this is just out of one like tissue box and stuff around the house and 
just making a few things. And I hope this inspires you to be more creative. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that help me to be more, more creative. Um, and I really appreciate the inspiration that they give me. And uh, I, everyone, I hope you have a good day. And as I stumble through and get used to videoing and talking to myself, which never used to be a problem, but <laughs> apparently when I'm vid being videotaped, it is a little bit of a problem. But anyway, um, off I go. So I'll let you guys go. And I hope you have a good day and take care of yourselves. Bye. Okay, everyone, I, I figured I should give you a close up of all these so i'm adding this on i'm sorry i said bye and now i'm back anyway so this is the first one the grungy traveling men and i did put the 50 for speed limit there's the close-up of the butterfly i really like the way that one turned out it's got a little bit of um uh, thread in there and it's got some of the gauze in there and my little writing hack thing and then as I said I would get a little lighter ones and again the little writing hack over on top of the the things I put uh, more blue in this to make it a bit lighter and a little bit less brown and another butterfly and papers and then there are the two strips that I made that I didn't do too much to once I put that stuff on. And then the little bird one. Here's a close-up of it so you can see it a little bit better. Because it didn't come out so well in the, in the video that I, I will attach this to. But there you go. There they all are. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks. And subscribe. Thank you.